How to tell stories in a speech? Why do people tell stories in a speech? Is it a gimmick or is there real need? It's a need and it's a strong one too, because stories are memorable. Stories travel further and stories inspire action. Why do stories make a speech memorable? Presentation trainer Nancy Duarte said, "Stories package information in a way that people remember." Writer Daniel Pink said. Stories are easier to remember because, in many ways, stories are how we remember. Roger C. Shank, cognitive scientist, said, "Humans are not ideally set up to understand logic. They are ideally set up to understand stories." Writer Ian Forrester said, "We give factual information when we tell the queen died and the king died, but we tell a story when we say the queen died and the king died of a broken heart." Professors Chip and Dan Heath said, after a presentation, 63% of attendees remember stories. Only 5% remember statistics. How come? Guess how many regions of the brain do facts and figures activate? Two, the Broca's area for processing language and the Wernicke's area for understanding language. Guess how many regions of the brain do stories activate? Seven. The Broca's area for processing language and the Wernicke's area for understanding language, the auditory cortex for processing sounds, the visual cortex for processing colors and shapes, the olfactory cortex for processing scents, the motor cortex for processing movements, the sensory cortex for processing touch. That's why people remember stories much better than numbers. Why do stories travel further? People have been recording their history with stories since prehistoric times. Writer Louis Turco said, "People are hungry for stories. It's part of our very being. Storytelling is a form of history of immortality too. It goes from one generation to another. Why do stories inspire action?" Neuroscientist Paul Zak said, "When you want to motivate, persuade, or be remembered." Start with a story of human struggle and eventual triumph. It will capture people's hearts by first attracting their brains. Studies have shown that watching a 100-second story written with the dramatic art led to a 47% increase in oxytocin release in subjects' brain, and 32% of them donated their earnings to charities after viewing the story. In short, facts tell, stories sell. So what makes a good story? Writer John Steinbeck said, "If a story is not about the hearer, he will not listen. A great and interesting story is about everyone, or it will not last. A good story is one that resonates with the audience. What are the components of a story? A story is about people and action. There is usually the protagonist, the good guy, antagonist, the opponent, and some minor supporting characters." You can tell a story in first person or third person, but of course, personal stories are more appealing and engaging to the audience. Next is the plot or storyline. The classical plot structure or dramatic arc explains how good stories usually develop. The exposition sets the scene, which gradually builds up to the climax where a conflict occurs, followed by falling action, which solves the issue. A good example is the story of the wolf and the three little pigs. Another time-proven structure is the hero's journey, in which an ordinary person goes through a process of transformation to find his or her mission and identity. A good example is Luke Skywalker in the Star Wars movies. A good story always has a twist, a moment of awakening, an aha moment where the protagonist learns a very important lesson in life. Which leads to some universal messages or themes that resonate with the audience. Messages like love, sacrifice, commitment, dedication, faith, hope, diligence, honesty, integrity, and so on. Then how do you tell a story vividly? Build up the characters with detailed descriptions of their actions and conversations. This helps the audience develop empathy for them. Build up the different characters through different vocal varieties, body language, and stage positions.
Describe the environment and the scenes with colorful adjectives to create the desired mood and feelings among the audience. Create sound bites with short, crisp words to make the message memorable. An example is, hearts are often broken by words left unspoken. From the short film, the three words. How much details are enough? How much is too little for a story? Make sure the details are absolutely essential and relevant. What is essential? If you give too much details, you may lose sight of the big picture. Like zooming in to see the veins of the leaves make you lose sight of the tree. Ask the simple question if you are not sure. Can the audience still follow the story without this detail? What is relevance? Ask this question when you are not sure. Does each detail lead to the people or message of the story? Where can you find stories? Daniel Pink said, "We are our stories. We compress years of experience, thought, and emotion into a few compact narratives that we convey to others and tell ourselves." Writer Barry Lopez said, "If stories come to you, care for them, and learn to give them away where they are needed." Sometimes a person needs a story more than food to stay alive. Borrow from other stories in books or movies. Just remember, facts tell, stories sell. So, what's your story?